What's up my YouTube fan? Welcome back to another video. So I decided to take you along with me on my stretching routine to prevent muscle soreness or muscle aches the next day. If you're new here, my name is Michelle Kintia and I am someone who is very passionate about health and fitness. And I decided to vlog on YouTube to be able to share my knowledge and the things that I have learned throughout the years of my fitness journey. I am not of any way a health coach or a personal trainer, but I graduated and I took up Bachelor of Science in Nursing, so I have that knowledge when it comes to health and wellness. I will be doing this stretch routine with four episodes. This one is for leg day, next is for upper body day, and third would be for full body day. And the last stretching routine would be how to do cool down stretches. I first started working out when I was age 30 years old, and that was in Singapore. Insert the video here of my <laughs> Singapore 2011 vlog. I hope you will watch that too. And it was with my Kumare who lives in Singapore as well, who is a fitness trainer at the same time. And he had helped me kickstart my fitness journey. So after that first day of intense weight training session with him, the next day was a trip to Universal Studios day and I can't barely walk. <laughs> because working out was still new to me because that was my first time working out and weight training was a new thing for me <laughs> the next day my muscles were super sore and painful <laughs> that I can't barely walk so this stretch exercises are so important to do before this is called dynamic stretching and not just an ordinary stretch routine because stretching before a workout is different than what kind of stretches you need to do at the end or after your training so here's my particular leg day stretch routine which i was continuously doing all throughout these years until now so let's do this and join me I am doing an extra heavy resistance band in a foam roller like this but if you don't have one it's just fine but for me I need this because I have a chronic quad pain this is the quad we need this to break down the muscle area to wake them up and of course I will also be using an interval timer. You can download this on iOS or Android. This is called Intervals Pro. That is the icon over there. Intervals Pro. So again, we will need an interval timer, a foam roller, and a resistance band for leg day stretching pre-workout routine. Let's go! I am using an interval timer because I am stretching for 15 minutes but it's up to you if you will stretch for just 5 minutes 15 minutes 50 seconds of work 10 seconds of rest recover for 10 seconds 5 seconds 16 pounds of this i am also work for 50 seconds stretching my upper body i lost count but it's okay on days that I am feeling lazy to work out, dynamic stretching is also very helpful. I usually run for 5 minutes before doing dynamic stretching, most especially on upper body sessions to get my heart rate up because running helps me get in the mood to do the workout. I also take iced black coffee without sugar and without creamer in your workout because this helps me feel hyped I love black coffee just 16 pounds of those movements 5 seconds of course if you squat you also work your work for 50 seconds your back or your waist so we also need to stretch this 16 pounds also 
don't just always depend on motivation guys just put on your training shoes or your running shoes run around your house run around the building for five minutes and then do your dynamic stretching and i assure you you will definitely finish the workout routine that you're planning to do on that day i may look stupid on this leg stretch but this is what i found most effective 16 pounds of this be following the timer in a while.
14 counts of this. You may also do foam rolling after your workout during your static stretching because this helps lengthen muscle and improve flexibility. Foam rolling does all this and more by also targeting and relieving tension in the myofascial layer of your body. You may also use foam rolling on your thighs, lower legs, on your back muscles but please avoid foam rolling your joints elbows knees and ankles unless specifically instructed you can just pause for a bit by your physical therapist or your athletic trainer Abductor. Recover for 10 seconds. And inner thighs. Reach up. 5 seconds. Reach up. That feels so good. <laughs> Stretch. Work for 50 seconds. Stand up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Reach up. Reach up. Stand. I'm beginning to sweat now. Last one, two, three, four. Up, up, stretch, stand, squeeze the butt. Resistance band, 20 counts per leg. One, two, three, five four, seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, we nine, cover for ten seconds. Ten. One, Four, five seconds. Six, seven, eight, nine. Work for ten. fifty seconds. Don't just swing your. Don't just swing your leg. Four. I lost count, but it's okay. <laughs> Good 
just making up the quads to tell them that it's time for them to work. One, two, three, triple squat, jack. I mean, jump squat. One, two, three. I do 10 of this. now i'm ready to do my leg day bye guys see you next time don't forget to click on the like share and subscribe see you soon bye